Michelle uh, my version of carbonara. It's one of her favorite meals, but she doesn't like mine. <laughs> so, I'm aiming to improve my uh, ability to make carbonara that uh, she likes, and I thought I'd go over it with you. So, uh, I use linguine. Got a couple boxes out here. I mix in uh, an egg. Unfortunately, Michelle likes uh, her carbonara creamy, so I'm going to add some cream as well. Some grana padana uh, hard cheese. You could use this or um, like parmesan is quite common or any other uh, hard cheese. Uh, go over this one first. We have some pancetta. You could all use, also use something called guanciale, which is pig cheek. I like saying guanciale, it's a funny word. But this is just pancetta I got from the butcher. It's uh, sliced up almost a centimeter thick per slice. I'm going to fry that shortly, and while I'm frying it, I like to um, throw in a few cloves of garlic. This particular bulb is a bit old, but oh well, we don't eat the garlic, it's just for flavor. So, here we go. <laughs> should have mixed it first in the uh, bowl and then added the cheese but for whatever reason I decided to grate the cheese first. So what I have now is uh, the garlic is simmering in a pan of um, grapeseed oil that's been heated. When they've uh, broken down and been browned a little bit then I'm going to throw in the uh, pancetta. I'm going to wrap up the cheese I don't think we'll need any more, but uh, in case we do, I'll, I'll leave it out. All right, so time to add the pancetta. Michelle likes her uh, meat crispy, so I usually cook these until all the fat is rendered and uh, the meat is, um, well, not chewy. <laughs> Pancetta is simmering in the pot. Uh, normally this is the time where I would uh, whip up the egg and then add the cheese, but I've already added the cheese, so I'm going to now add the egg. You know what? I'm going to add an egg in the, the egg in a separate bowl. You want to please your wife. So, you cook things that she likes the way she likes it. That's the way you think it ought to be. So, I've learned that last week. <laughs> Cream! Alright, the pancetta is still not crispy enough for Michelle's liking, um, but I'm going to go ahead now and add some pepper. Alright, so pasta's in the pot, boiling away. In a few more minutes, I'll add the pasta to the um, pan. And then we'll almost be done. Hey guys, uh, the pasta is almost done. Just wanted to show you the pancetta. This has uh, been simmering in the, in the pan. So it's simmering in its own uh, fat. And we have some uh, cloves of garlic in there as well. We'll keep them in there. <laughs> hey guys, uh, the pasta has uh, not been cooked long enough. And I uh, sprayed some cold water on it to stop it from cooking further and now I'm just shaking it, the water out so it's not too uh, watery when it gets added to the pan. Okay, Time to add it to the pan. Whenever you use tongs, you have to tap them a few times first. It's just human instinct. All right, here we go. I don't want to add too much, uh, so I'm just adding some of it, cranking up the temperature a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I think we could add some more pasta. All depends on how much pancetta I end up getting. You don't want too much pasta, otherwise uh, it looks like there's no pancetta in it. Then Michelle complains, why didn't you add any pancetta? <laughs> Alright, that looks like enough. Still have some pasta left over for like a, a lunch. Yeah. And then we mix
mix it all together. I also add some sage because um, it adds a little bit of aroma and flavor. It's not really an Italian thing, but uh, Michelle's used to it and she likes it. All right, now we're going to add the um, Grana Padana cheese, egg, and cream mixture that uh, I had prepared before. And then after I'm done, I'll show you what everything looks like when it's all been mixed together. Normally when you're just cooking with an egg, you have to uh, mix things together quickly, otherwise the egg will uh, sort of fry on its own from the heat and you'll have basically a, um, well, a scrambled egg mixed in with your uh, carbonara, and that's no good. So you have to be quick. However, when you mix it with uh, some cream, that becomes less of an issue. So you want to have that urgency when you add the sauce. Okay, this looks about right. I don't think I have to add any more cream. All right, everybody, it's done. And this is a pan full of my carbonara. Normally, if I was just making it for myself, I wouldn't add any cream, but it'd be more or less what it looks like here. All right, let's see if she'll enjoy it. Normally, if she likes it, she'll go, Ooh. so if it's not going to be good. Let's just see how bad it will be. Tell you honestly, I like this better than the previous one. Now it's a little bit of, it's creamier than the last time. And of course, I always like the pancetta like really crispy. So this is really crispy. He does a good job with the, with the meat right now. It's quite good. Oh, good. All right, everyone. Uh, at least she likes it. It's reached the uh, edible state, and that's all I'm really ever going for. So, hope you enjoyed this uh, little interlude. And um, to you, everyone, bon appétit. Bon appétit. Thank you, baby. You're very welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yep. Love ya. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.